In 2009, IBM researchers published a groundbreaking paper in the Journal of Science detailing how they imaged for the first time the anatomy or chemical structure inside a molecule with unprecedented resolution. The technique of using carbon monoxide functionalized tips for non-contact atomic force microscopy was highly acclaimed in scientific circles and reported widely in the press. This led to several collaborations, including the Royal Society of Chemistry and the University of Warwick. Both organisations are initially interested in using the technique on a synthetic molecule, which has potentially interesting electronic and optical properties called a lymphocene, named for its five rings. Warwick chemists David Fox and Anish Mystery spent over one year on the synthesis and characterisation of the molecules. Professor Fox explains. The compound in itself is quite interesting because it has a number of different forms which potentially can interconvert. And so if, in making this compound, one of the things we wanted to do was understand a little bit more about it and see whether or not ultimately we could take a picture of the molecule using some high resolution imaging. The compound is one of a number of related compounds uh, with potentially interesting electronic and optical properties. The compounds potentially could have use uh, in uh, making the next generation of solar cells or new generation lighting sources such as LEDs. Ben Morton, a pre-doctoral student, adds... Do put the um, olympocene into the system. What we see is uh, the signature trapezoidal shape of the olympocene molecule. Unfortunately, this is actually the limit of um, the resolution that STM can get. If we want to get better resolution, we actually need to um, localise the interaction um, the interaction of the um, tip onto the bonds of the molecule. Um, and to do that, you need to use um, an atomic force microscope, which currently is actually only available to a few handful of people in, along, around the world. Um, we chose IBM Zurich as our uh, collaborators on this project. IBM scientists, who also previously collaborated with the University of Aberdeen, welcomed the opportunity and challenge to apply their novel imaging technique to the carbon and hydrogen-based molecule. IBM scientist Dr. Leo Gross explains. There's been very many examples of people or mankind making things very small. And often you take a thing that you know from reality, like a soccer pitch or so, and you try to make the smallest soccer pitch or the smallest map of the world. But molecules are really the smallest things that we can make. This is not the first time we, m we make a molecule, but what I find interesting is making molecules are the smallest things. And even if you compare this to other very tiny structures, the molecules are always smaller, and this is really the physical limit, so we can not make structures smaller than that. And just an example, so um, 22 years ago, Eigler and Schweitzer did this famous IBM logo pushing single atoms, and this is, of course, an amazing achievement, and it's still one of the smallest things we can do, it's writing with single atoms. If you compare this with now, the molecule that was made, it's really uh, another step forward. It's much, it's really tiny compared to the single atom manipulation. And you will not see another shrinking. You will not see an image of the molecule and then something that's made that's even 10 times smaller. It's really the limit. The next step for the scientists is to publish their findings in a scientific journal and to continue to explore applications for the molecule. This is Amory Cromack reporting.